Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rosenda and I'm going to be showing you some of my spring outfits that I've been wearing lately. I've been implementing some new things into my daily uh, fashion that have helped me feel a little bit more elegant and I'm going to be sharing those with you too. So those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I love to post videos about feminine 10 item wardrobe, elegant living, vintage homemaking, romantic home. If any of those things sound great to you, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And those of you that are coming back, ladies, I'm so excited you're here. For this video, we're gonna go back in time. I'm gonna be showing you some of my outfits that I wore starting with Mother's Day. And then we're gonna come back to this day that I'm wearing right now. And it's gonna be fun, so let's get going. Hello ladies, today is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, I hope you all had a good one. So this is an outfit that's part of my 10 item wardrobe and it is a dress that I've had for many years. I actually have had this dress since uh, before Hadar was born. I like to hold on to particular clothes and dresses because they're just good pieces and good quality and they may not be trendy at the time so I kind of pull them back out every now and then but they always come back around and this one is one of those. It's a beautiful dress. I love it because it has the ruffles. I'm trying to get a little closer here. It has the little ruffles. I love ruffles. And the pink, the bright pink. I love bright pink. I love light pink. And so this is what it looks like. It has a cascade of ruffles that come down. Those of you that know me from way back will recognize this dress. <laughs> I used to wear it a lot to church. I actually wore it when Hadara, before Hadara was, I had Hadara and I fit into it after Hadara, so it's been with me all these years. But it's a beautiful dress and I'm not wearing any shoes right now because I'm going to usually wear just socks or house slippers. I wanted to show you my special jewelry that I got for Mother's Day today. I'm going to kind of lift this up and see if you can see that. Do you see that? I'm wearing my pearl bracelet, but I'm also wearing a special bracelet that Hadara she actually embroidered that for me. It's a friendship bracelet. And then this one is so beautiful. It's roses. Beautiful, isn't it? She learned how to do this and embroider this on her own. She's been making friendship bracelets for a while now, but that's one of them. They may not be diamonds or pearls or, an ex or expensive jewelry, but they mean more than anything to me. And I know you moms can relate because anything our kids make for us means so much, right? So I had a really good day today. It's really low key. Of course, we didn't go out. Ruben and Hadara made me a morning Mother's Day brunch, which was so nice and so beautiful. It's like a tradition that we do. And so that was really nice. That was for breakfast and actually brunch because they let me sleep in. And then the rest of the afternoon, I just kind of enjoyed, you know, kick back, chill. It was just a really chill day. And I arranged my flowers in my vase and I posted that on Instagram. My beautiful flowers that Ruben got me, a beautiful bouquet. Um, and then he also got me some miniature roses in little pots so I could plant. And then he also got me some hydrangeas that I have in a pot so I can have in my kitchen. So I don't know how they're gonna last or how long they'll last with this summer or with this Arizona heat, but even if it's just for a few weeks. <laughs> so it looks pretty in my kitchen. Hi ladies, today I'm in front of another area. It's different from the bathroom from yesterday because I realized I needed more light. Today I'm wearing a dress and this is a blush pink dress and it has dots. I literally think that's cute. I love polka dots. It has a little bow. It's just a really pretty swing midi dress and I'm wearing some white shoes that I just got online and I'll be talking about these in another video. And then I have my pearl bracelet and I wear all the time. And then I'm wearing Hadara's bracelet that she gave me. Then I'm pairing it with some pearl earrings and I decided to put my hair up and I curled it a little bit. I put a little pink bow, just a little clip so I could put my hair back with some curls hanging down. I like to keep my hair out of my face sometimes while I'm working during the day. And one more thing I'm wearing today that's different or new is my new lipstick but it's called Sunset Peach and it's a new color 
that I just started wearing and it's actually by Mary Kay. Something else that I'm wearing that you can't see is a perfume. I have been trying to use more of my elegant things that I have in my home and in one of my favorite channels, The Daily Connoisseur, Jennifer talked about using your elegant things and one of the things that I have been putting off that I haven't worn in a while is one of my favorite perfumes. I think, oh, I shouldn't wear that because maybe I will <laughs> run out of it too quick and all that. But today I'm wearing my pretty perfume that I love so much and Ruben got this for me and it's one of my favorites. And here is the perfume. If you wanted to know, it's Colch New York. Floral is the name of it. It's a very pretty perfume. You want to take it off. I don't even, I like to keep it in the box. Isn't that funny? I don't know. Do you do that too? It's kind of hard to get it out, but I just love this. I got this for Mother's Day uh, last year and it's so pretty. Look at that. So this is what I like to wear and I'm taking it out and I'm wearing it with my outfit today. I don't buy many perfumes. I like to stick with a couple that I've always loved. I used to have another perfume that I love so much from Victoria's Secret and that one was discontinued and that one was called Rapture. I had to look for a new perfume that I wanted to kind of have a trademark scent. I like to do that and a really nice quality one. So that's the perfume that I decided to choose. I really like it. It smells really pretty. Hi ladies, today's Tuesday and I'm going to show you what I'm wearing today. So I have pants on today, but I'm wearing a Ann Taylor blouse. This is one of the blouses I got last fall with my black blouse. I have a black one just like this. So I was saving this one actually for uh, spring and summer because it's white. But it's really pretty. It's got like white dots. You can see that. And it's a wrap around. And what I do is because this is kind of showy, I use a camisole for my under, you know, under my blouses so that it's a little bit more modest and um, it covers a little more. So that is my secret <laughs> when you're wearing white. Uh, because I know a lot of us are going to be wearing more white during summer. I'm hoping you do because white is such a fresh and cool color for spring and for summer. I have a pink pair like this and I also have those in my one of my last videos I showed you. So it's kind of like a blush pink. This is like a baby blue, kind of almost like a very light aqua baby blue color. And then I'm wearing my little house slippers, which are my vintage house slippers. I did my hair in um, like a, I don't know, curls and then I put it up in a little um, French twist to the side because it's getting hot. So I didn't want to do a ponytail today. I wanted to do something a little bit more feminine, a little bit more romantic, which in one of my last videos I talked about doing uh, more curls in my hair. So. I just thought it was fun to try something new and it's keeping me cool. Oh, and then I'm wearing also uh, pearl drop earrings, which I love. And what else? I don't have any necklaces on today, so I'm just kind of keeping it simple. Hi ladies, today I am wearing a dress. And if you've seen my fall 10 item wardrobe video, you will recognize this dress. <laughs> I brought it back for spring. It's got a pretty vintage style, which I love, and it's a very easy dress to uh, wear. I bought this at Kohl's last fall, and it's part of the L brand, but I love the little detail, the bow, it's so cute. And today I'm just wearing my house slippers. If you've seen my other past videos, and you know that I love wearing my little house slippers. I'm also wearing these the pretty Victorian little um, cameo earrings. I'm wearing uh, my bracelet that I always wear, my my pearl bracelet, I love that. I got this in an antique store, it's so dainty. One more thing that I'm wearing today is a new nail color, and I actually took time to polish my nails today, yay, I'm so excited. I just purchased a new nail color from a new brand that I just started using, 
um, and I absolutely love it. So those of you who have been asking about my nails, how do I grow long nails? These are my natural nails and you're all asking me a lot of times, please tell us how to grow ha uh, long hair and long nails. So I think that will be in a future video coming up pretty soon. Today I'm wearing my hair down. I curled it and brushed it out so it's just kind of wavy. But I actually gave myself a quarantine haircut last month and I think I did pretty good. I was kind of scared but I was so desperate <laughs> because my hair got it got so long um, after Christmas that I, I mean it was like literally to here so that's how much I actually cut off <laughs> and I still have to cut some more off. And I think I might be doing a trim again um, of my own probably in the next few days because it's getting that to that point where I'm gonna have to trim it. Okay, not to get off subject, but today something very exciting happened. I got something in the mail that I ordered and that I've been wanting and I got it for me for Mother's Day. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of show you and open it up. And this has something to do, I'm gonna give you a clue. It has something to do with the 10 item wardrobe. Okay, ready? Oh my goodness! I got Jennifer L. Scott's book, Lessons from Madame Chic. I'm so excited. I have been wanting this book for a long time. I've checked it out of the library over and over again. <laughs> All of her books, actually, Jennifer's books, but I'm collecting them slowly but surely. And this is the first one that I'm gonna add to my collection. So I'm so excited finally have it. Those of you that are wondering why I'm excited about this book, it's because the 10 item wardrobe, which is what I have been implementing in my fashion wardrobe since last spring, that is all because of Jennifer. And she is a creator of the 10 item wardrobe and she has written these books. This is Lessons from Madame Chic and I absolutely love it and I love her. She is one of my good friends here on YouTube. So if you want, check out her channel and find out more about it, I will link it below. But I'm so excited. So this was a Mother's Day present to me and I'm looking forward to getting some more of her books. There's two more in the series, but that will be coming probably in another few weeks or so. So thank you for joining me today for my video. I hope you got some inspiration from my spring outfits and enjoyed seeing them. I didn't get to make a official spring 10 item wardrobe this season, so I thought this was a great way to kind of document and show you what I've been wearing and to give you some inspiration. I cannot believe we're already gonna be going into June and I'm gonna be doing a summer 10 item wardrobe with you pretty soon. So I hope you enjoyed my video and remember to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.